What up, Talking Fight fans? Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Knuckle Up with yours truly, Mike Orr. And I'm usually joined by my man, Cedric Ben, but he's in the gym getting ready, training, doing what he does best, man. So it's just me today, guys. And I just want to talk to you about the prospects of the year, who has been named. And we are going to start off with a man that I've told you guys about in the past, Adam Azim. This kid, in the space of 12 months, has gone from being virtually unknown uh, prodigy to being one of the most talked about prospects in British boxing. Uh, you know, he wins Give Him Sports Prospect of the Year Award for 2022. A few years ago, Adam made his professional debut without much fanfare, but it wasn't until September of last year when he got his first big break. In 2021, he signed a multi-fight deal with Ben Shalom, uh, to compete under boxer, uh, backed by promotional uh, might of Sky Sports. He is quickly becoming one of its star attractions. Azim fought five times in 2022, winning all of his fights be- uh, by knockout. He has even drawn comparisons to his childhood hero, Amir Khan. Um, you know, he is good, man. He's very, very good indeed. Uh, so good, in fact, that his trainer, Shane McGuigan, reckons He is the most talented fighter he has ever worked with, a list that includes Luke Campbell, David Hay, uh, George Groves. And when you consider how much and um, when you consider how many world champions the McGuigan gym has produced over the years, that's certainly saying something. Um, You know, this kid, he's definitely great to watch in the ring. I've told you guys before, very exciting, very knowledgeable, you know, Khan, who became a world champion at age of 22, is also expecting big things from Azim, uh, you know, along as he is guided correctly. Uh, So, you know, guys, he does have the right people in his corner. You know, he is sitting right now ranked 10th in the UK in that super light division, 133 in the world at a 2069. He is only 20. And, you know, I love watching this kid, man. Guys, if you haven't seen his last fight, Ryan, uh, Ryland Charlton, definitely Charlton was down twice in the first round and once in the second. His corner threw in the towel. Guys, you got to go back and watch that fight. I know, I'm pretty sure it was our knockout of the week. I did uh, I did say that this was uh, the winner, man. This is back in November 27th. Definitely this kid, prospect of the year, deserving of it. You know, very talented and great to watch. So, guys, be on the lookout for this kid for big things for 2023. You know they're going to be pushing, keeping this kid in line uh, for world contention. That's where they want to see this kid. That's where this kid will eventually be, guys. He is 7-0 and right now. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Definitely great prospect out of Britain. But he's not the only one, guys, we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about, yes. Key Sean Davis. Um, come on, you know, Olympic medalist. Key Sean Davis development was such a seamless process in 2022 that his handlers have to be mindful of how aggressively they match him next year. The 23 year old Davis believes just seven fights into his professional career that he is ready to fight any lightweight in boxing. The Norfolk Virginia native will be moved more moderately than. Um, than that in 2023, yet the intelligent, skillful prospect uh, proved December 10th that he is ready for more imposing opponents. Decision makers for Bob Aram, Sop Ranking, uh, expect durable Mexican veteran uh, Juan Carlos Burgos to provide Davis 7-0 5 KOs with some, of, with some problems in their eight-rounder two weeks ago. A well-prepared Davis negated Burgos pressure almost immediately. However, with his hand speed, power and footwork, which enabled Davis to record a shutout on all three scorecards in about ESPN aired from Madison Square Garden in New York. Uh, The ambitious Davis, you know, prospect of the year for 2022 by boxing, by boxing scene.com hopes his dominance of the Burgos um, who hasn't been knocked out in 45 pro bouts doesn't, um, dissuade his contenders rated in the top 15 from facing him because guys, you know, that can happen. You know, you get too good. You start knocking people out. Then it's hard to find opponents. Don't want to see this happen to this kid. So definitely they're going to have to strategically move him through 2023. Definitely a detrimental year to him here, man. The way that he's going to 
attack 2023 is going to set him up for the future, guys. Uh, you know, before he beat Burgos, he was 35-7-3 with 21 knockouts. Davis defeated Mexican Esteban Sanchez, who was 18-3 and with eight KOs by six-round technical knockout on April 30th in Las Vegas. And Omar Tienda, who was 25-6 and with 18 KOs by a fifth-round stoppage in September 23rd in New, uh, Newark, New Jersey, in his first two fights of 2022. So, guys, you know, these both these guys, definitely huge prospects. Been following their careers for a long time. Been telling you guys to watch these kids. So, guys, man, what I'm telling you, these prospects that I bring to you every day are ones to watch. I mean it. Here's the proof right here. Adam Azim, Keyshawn Davis. You know, congratulations to the, you know, wonderful title of prospect of the year, man. Can't wait to see what you guys do, uh, you know, in the rest of your career. You guys got a long time ahead of you. Guys, keep watching these guys progress. They are great fighters, excellent in that ring, man. Great knowledge. You know, this is the thing, man. When you see these prospects and when these prospects win these awards, man, it's not just because they're winning or they're going undefeated. No, there's many, many factors that come into play here. And it's the way they hand them, handle themselves in the ring, the way they fight these rounds, the way they go into the deeper rounds. It's all about skill, you know, stamina. Uh, you know, the way you play chess, man, it's the way you play chess in there. And this is the the things that they all look for to get, uh, you know, these prospects of the year. And you know what? They couldn't have picked two better guys, man. Adam Azim, Keyshawn Davis. Keep doing what you guys are doing, man. It's great for the sport of boxing. You know, can't wait to see what you guys do 2023. It's your man, Mike Orr. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel. It's Female Friday. We're going to talk about the upcoming prospects of the year for Female Friday. So, guys, make sure you join me tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Until then, luck a lot, man. Peace.